three and a two and a one and a go. Do you know, sometimes I wonder about like the, the in-between game commentary, like I feel like I should be a big ball of energy like Argic, and then I remember Argic is playing Sonic the Hedgehog, and Sonic the Hedgehog is a very fast game, so it kind of pumps you anyway. This is a slow game, I think it it warrants Pinteresque kind of awkward pauses and silences. In fact, this this whole game actually is a little bit Pinteresque if you think about it. It's got that kind of suburban dreariness to it. Or like the, the, the sort of ways, the places that your brain goes in suburban dreariness. A little bit Pinterest. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, this is... This is the product of everyone just posting a bunch of photos of stuff they like. There we go. I can do that jump. Pinteresque, Harold Pinter. You know the fella. Okay, a poor man, Samuel Beckett. <laughs> I, know, I, had a, I had a lecturer who was obsessed with um, Harold Pinter and shoehorned it into every lecture they did. So I think I have a minor chip on my shoulder about about him. About, about Pinter. All the items are just Jet Set Willy's pins. Yeah, exactly. They're like, they're, they're expensive bath taps and that that he wanted to buy from Ikea. Hang on. <laughs> That's um, expensive bath taps, Ikea. A little bit of a problem in your rationale there, isn't there, Ian? It must be really exciting to be me, like starting a sentence and not really worrying about whether the end matches. Every day is a new adventure in language. Maria, do you find this tap as pinteresting as I do? <laughs> I I wonder if Willie actually asks for Maria's opinions on the decor around the house. Because you think she would have said something about the fact that every single room seems to have completely different wallpaper <laughs> to each other. I mean, I understand that in a, a, a kind of terrestrial house where, um, you know, you've got kids and that who like to decorate their bedrooms as they please. But like in a whole mansion, you expect there to be some level of consistency. So, Duck, you got two 1717 times on Manic Miner in a row, and uh, you picked the second one because it was 0.1 seconds faster. I think that's, that's viable. Did it look better, though? Were the jumps more impressive? I need to have another go at Manic Miner at some point. Because I haven't completed it. With all the training I've done, I should be able to complete Manic Miner by this point. They looked identical and too consistent. Nice work.
Yeah, consistency, I don't think that's one of my strong points with this game. Like, I work to make every move in it as consistent as possible, but there's there's stuff like the... Like the Green Chef. And Cuckoo's Nest that can just kind of... Ah! That can go either way. Damn, man, I thought I'd nailed that. Like, that jump onto the rope, I thought I'd got that in the bag, because, um... Oh, no. Don't... Oh, we're just going to have to wait now, I think. Damn! There goes a few seconds. There's a specific jump point for that rope jump that I was um, doing that was ensuring it was consistent nearly every time, and I must have just missed that today. It's easy to be consistent when the game runs at 10 frames per second. Yeah, there is that. Well, but then even with that, Nightmare Edition, which is even slower, and there are some jumps in that that it's so hard to get consistent. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it's all relative. Right. Let's get this right again. Because <coughs> last, the last one of this was... Um, it was very nice. Good. Step one. Ooh, I think that might be a little late. No, okay, so we're over the green, sh the green monk, but can we get the... This is the moment of truth. Oh, God, so, so close to, uh, to peril. There we are. Okay, it's bedding in now. I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it. N new wine cellar strat is uh, starting to feel like home to me. But it's still a part of me that wonders if it can be quicker. By like one second. As for this, got it. Okay. Yeah, the um, I've uh, it's only been since I've started doing those uh, these gatekeeper straps down here that I've appreciated the majesty of Willie's mono leg pose. Because most of the poses I were using were like um, the full stride and mid stride ones before to measure stuff, but there's great. Great agency in the monoleg pose. Because the way Willie's poses work are uh, monoleg, it makes him six pixels wide. Mid stride makes him eight pixels wide, and full stride makes him ten pixels wide. And when you've got those uh, those narrow jumps there, like where you're trying to jump between two enemies, you really need that um, that mono leg pose as much as you can. 
Right, let's uh, let's improve. Yes. Okay, that's exactly what I was after. That was optimum. Look after the seconds and the minutes will look after themselves. <laughs> True that. Now. Oh. No, no. Damn. Okay, well. And a, and a second time. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, the arrow's going to come back at this rate. Oh. Completely undid all my hard work there. <laughs> and another. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favourite um, Alan Partridge lines from the day to day. The bit when the guy kicks the ball back into the goal and he goes, and another, as if that actually counts. That's what I was trying to do last time. See, there's a beautiful bit. Another bit that I really like is, you know, uh, do you ever listen to On The Hour, the, the radio version? And there's a bit where he's commenting on the uh, Oxford-Cambridge boat race. And he's like, where are the other universities? They are so far behind. <laughs> Or something like that. I think I've butchered it a little bit, but you get you get the gist of the of the gag. Uh, what's next? Um, Offy, innit? Yeah, on the hour is really good. Uh, some lovely um, some lovely cut ups in it there's a lot, a lot of lot of, lot of white hot Douglas herd action Whee. Yeah, we cancels and using phones and news agent to get the news. I think that was from that was from his uh, the Chris Morris music shows, wasn't it? If I recall correctly, that one. Oh no! Oh, that doesn't normally happen. Okay, I'm going to have to recalibrate this strat now. Oh, bollocks! This was turning into such a good run. <sighs> That's so disappointing. Off license is supposed to be easy. Well, maybe not easy, but like it's one of the easier rooms once you've got the strap down. Oh man, that's that's so gutting. I, I was doing. St <laughs> I'm not sure I can continue to the end, guys. Help me out. <laughs> Do it. Just, just soldier on for it. Finish the marathon lane. Come on. Start it so I'll finish. Look at that. Look that. Look how down. How how much time I've lost on that split now. Ah. Oh. 
and that means I'm gonna uh, there's there's no more no more death warps now so no chapel no main stairway No, nothing. Oh, how are you all doing, me all right? <laughs> I mean, I've, 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 everyone's gone quiet. I wonder. I feel like I've gone in harder on the uh, on the disappointment than I should have gone. It's a minute's silence for the failure of this run. If I can at least if I can at least get Doctor Jones right in this um, in this run, then that'll be something. I need to I need to make up my uh, Dr. Jones game oh all right well okay we got the uh, we got we got a two cycle so that's good two cycle on a priest hole still a gold split that's um but that's that's kind of a uh, misleading because the additional time that I'm now going to incur from the chapel now is going to render that useless. Yeah, the uh, Chris Morris cancelling the news and phoning a news agent, that was, um, I'm pretty sure that was from the music shows rather than on the hour. Because he phones up the Radio 1 newsroom and he says, yeah, it's, 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 it's not happening. And he's like, sorry, what's not, what's not happening? <laughs> Seen his stuff on YouTube. Yeah, it's really good. Most of it, uh, Cooked and Bombed uploaded a lot of that stuff. There's a lot of um, Blue Jam sketches from from them. And... Oh, goody. Oh, well, I rescued it anyway. That's good. I remember the timing there. I was, I was, I was surprised at my ability to improvise on that one since I messed up my optimum jump. That's probably about a, th a three-second loss. So, no biggie. Well, well, I say no biggie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to really go great guns in order to. Uh, <laughs> Peter O'Hanra, Hanra, Hanra. Yeah, the 9-11 interview, that was from the um, from the day-to-day -day DVD menu. And that was one of the... Uh, I think that was probably the only sketch that they did for the DVD that really worked. The others were a little bit. Oh, actually no. Um, I tell you, like there's a there's a conversation between Chris and um, Alan as well. And that's a nice bit of improv. Um, let's see. I can't really tell at this point if this is going to be a goer or not. Mm. 
I don't think this is going to beat early as PB, but we'll see. Oh, I wish I could do uh, Duck's magic jump there right now. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> well, I do notice Duck doesn't seem to be able to do that jump in Jet Set Willy 2. For obvious reasons. <laughs> that's that's not a pop, by the way. That That's a really hard jump at this speed, I think, let alone. Okay. Too fast, not touching that time. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. That's, um... <laughs> I can't even get it right on this speed of game. Um, is this going to PB? What is the preview? 2236. It's going to be close. I think we might have just got it. Although weirdly, I am I'm less happy about this run than the uh, the one I did earlier. <laughs> but uh, hey, hey ho! What do you know? We have got a whopping, humongous, twenty two twenty in the bag. Ah, uh, that's weird. I don't get why I feel that run was so much worse than the one I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but it's and yet it was quicker. Twenty two twenty. So that means that this game is definitely sub twenty two is has got to be possible in this game. 